Hi, boys and girls. Um, if you have made it to this last video for math this week, um, you have reached the end of our math videos. This last video is video four, and it's going to have, um, I'm going to go through and kind of walk through the workbook pages um, that are for the both money lessons that I just kind of talked about. So there are four workbook pages. Um, and the first couple are going to go with um, the first, there's one that goes with the first lesson, and then there's a couple, a few that go with the second lesson. So we're going to just kind of look at them um, and go through them together. Um, again, it was money, and so we're going to start. So go ahead and get out your workbooks, um, and we're going to move to page 47 and make sure you have out just a pencil um, for right now. And for this uh, for this um, chapter, there is a page where you would like to um, probably use some type of crayon, um, crayon or colored pencil probably works best, not a marker because marker tends to go through. So if you want to take out a pencil and some type of crayon or colored pencil also, that would be helpful to have. We'll use that a little bit later. Um, so for the first page for lesson one, again, back to that um, that video that uh, talked about money first, we're going to just do a quick little review of the coin values, how much they're worth. And we're going to do a quick little matching here. So for this set of pages right here, we have the penny and then we have the values here. So we have five cents, 25 cents, one cent and 10 cent. Go ahead and draw your arrow from the penny and how much is the penny worth? One cent. So you're going to draw from the penny all the way down to one cent. Good. The next one is a nickel. Um, and so for this one, you're going to find how much it's worth. It's either worth five cents, 25 cents, or 10 cents. Um, and so if you're not sure or you can't remember, another good way to do some activities like this is to find the ones that you do know. So we knew the penny. And if we know the quarter is the biggest one and it's worth the most, which one of these numbers left would be the biggest or the greatest? So the quarter is worth 25 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line there to 25 cents. And then that leaves me with this one that's five cents and this one that's 10 cents. And I have these two points here. So I have these two, I have a nickel and then I have a dime. So if we take a look at them, um, this can be tricky and we just have to kind of continue to practice to learn their values. But the nickel is worth five cents, good. And then the dime is worth 10 cents. So you should kind of have two big X's here to have the coins going to the correct value. So go ahead, check yours, make sure you've got those. And then we're gonna move on to the next one, which is page 48. And for this one, for this workbook page, this is now going with lesson two. So the, the last couple workbook pages that there are gonna go along with that last activity that I pulled up, um, the one that had the book pages where we made the number sentences and we're adding the values together. So for this one, and this is where you're gonna need your crayon, a crayon or a colored pencil, um, whatever you have. And for this one, you're going to color in how many coins that you're going to need. So if you look at this um, airplane here. It has a tag on it and the airplane says it's worth six cents. And these are all pennies and we know that pennies are worth one cent. So if I want to buy an airplane, I need six of these coins. So all you're going to need to do with your uh, crayon or color pencil is just color in six of these pennies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and you're gonna color in six of these pennies and I don't wanna Take up too much time coloring them, so I'm going to do it really quick. So color in six, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so you should have colored in one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can always go back and check. That airplane is worth six cents. For this problem, problem number two, you're going to look at the um, stuffed animal bear and the dog, and you have six cents plus two cents. So you're going to add six and two. So you can use your fingers. You could also just use the coins here since they're all pennies and worth one cent. You could color in six first and then color in two more. And if you have six colored in first and then two more, you should have colored in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You should have colored in eight coins altogether. So for problem number two, you should have colored in eight 
points. So if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that. Um, and these last couple workbook pages will be a little bit different than how we've done them before. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you through um, the, through these pages and then I will kind of talk you through them, but then I might not go ahead and color in everything just because it's going to take a little bit longer um, and I don't want to take up more of your time. So for number three, I'll walk you through this one. We have for this one, the kite is worth three cents. So you can use my fingers. I'm holding up in the camera so you can see them. And we have this little doll that's five cents. So I have three cents and five cents. So I'm going to take three and five and I'm going to add them together. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cents, eight cents again. So to buy the kite and the doll, I need eight cents. So go ahead and take your crayon or colored pencil and color in eight pennies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you should have colored in eight pennies for this one. The last problem, a little bit bigger one. So we first have, we have a duck, a robot, and a mint. So we have two cents, four cents, and three cents. So what we're going to do is take these and add them together. And for this one, since it's a little bit longer, you could still use your fingers if that's helpful to you. Um, or you could also just go through and color the coins in as you go through each toy. So you can take your crayon or your colored pencil, and the first one, the duck, is worth two. So go ahead and color in two coins. One, two. The robot is worth four coins, so go ahead and color in four. One, two, three, and four. And then for the baseball mitt there, the baseball mitt you can see is worth three cents, so now I'm gonna color in three. One, two, three. So for this one, all of those together, if we colored all of these up to here, you should have one coin left over. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cents to buy all of those things. <clears throat> okay, the last um, page here, these pages right here that we see are going to talk about how much is needed um, to buy these objects. So we have here two coin purses and we have one house. So it says for this, the house is worth nine cents. So what it wants us to do is to look at these two coin purses and see which one has nine cents. So for this first coin purse, please be careful and notice that they all aren't worth one. So this has a five cent and this has a 10 cent. So go ahead and look at the five cents and look at the other coins that are with it. So we have five and you can do this a couple ways. You can count on from five um, and you could use your fingers too if that's helpful. So if you have five cents because this has a five on it, and then I'm going to add one, two, three, four, because I see four pennies. So five plus one, two, three, four. If I put them together. I have five, count on, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this one has nine cents. Well, we know by looking at the house that that's what we need is nine cents. So we can go ahead and circle that coin purse. But before we move on, I want to look at the other purse and just see what it has. So Right away, I see here that this coin is 10 cents. So that would already be more than we need because 10 is greater than nine. So we know that we circled the right purse and that's what we need. And then for the last problem, these take up, um, oh, let's see, let me switch this. Okay, for the last problem here, same thing except we have two objects that we have to add together first. So the car is worth four cents. The bat is worth two cents. Put four and two together. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six cents. So right away, let's go ahead and look at the first coin purse here. It looks like we all have one, so we can count those by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we said we needed six cents. And this has seven cents, so we know that's too many. So we can probably already guess that the other purse is going to be our right answer, but let's take a look at it first. So we have a coin that has five cents, and then we have a penny that has one cent, and five and one more is six. So that would be our correct answer, it would be that one right there. Good, nice job today. That was four, work, four or five workbook pages, um, and they were pretty quick. Um, pretty good practice for us. So 
that will end the workbook pages for um, the money chapter in this math lesson. Um, again, we have skipped over the measurement chapter. So if that's something that you would like to go back and do for review um, in the next couple of weeks, that is fine. You can go ahead back and do that. You can also continue to practice money and subtraction or addition facts um, at home to become more fluent with them. So thank you so much for all of your hard work during math this year. You've worked so hard um, and I am super proud of you. So I will see you again soon. Thanks so much.